Okay, the project today is going to be changing the ball bearings of a Scion XA 2007. There it is, Scion 2007 XA. It's got 75,000 miles and new tires have just been changed, but the back is making a weird grinding sound at high speed, and that indicates that the ball bearings are going bad, they're drying up. Ball bearing hub assembly from Prime Choice. Uh, it's the whole assembly in the back. But basically I found this on Amazon. I got two of them. 40, for $48 each. This is what the hub assembly looks like. Basically spins around. This goes there's this is connected to the to the axle and then the wheel is connected to this and the uh, the ABS brake connection is right there and this is all assembled with grease and bearings inside this has to be machine pressed you cannot do this with a hammer it's really hard they basically refurbished this one and Put new bearings in it and pressed it with a with a machine press and cleaned it up. It looks brand new. Basically, what we gotta do is take apart the back wheel, both of them, and clean up the brakes, the drum brakes, and disassemble a lot, and then put the new hub assembly in. Okay, make sure you put your car in. Uh, parking and that uh, the brake, the emergency brake is on. Make sure you uh, loosen these bolts before you lift the car on both sides. Another thing you may want to do is put the tires underneath like that. That helps in case the car does come down on you, then it'll help keep it up and it won't damage it. Because you're going to have to take the uh, the emergency brake, you're going to have to take, uh, release it in order to work on the back brakes. Okay, see, same thing. Same exact hub. As you can see, let me, take, let me get the other one so I can compare. Can you make sure you can compare them? Basically, very similar. The same exception. The back with the ABS is actually back here. Okay, so this is the uh, the ABS connection right here. To disconnect it, I had to use a, uh, a little thing like this, pointy metallic thing to get the little, there's a little uh, clip here. You pull it up with the tip of this right here, you can't, it's hard to see from here, but let me see, well, basically you can see a little clip there, you pull it up and then this thing comes out. The only way, the only way that I was able to do it, there's a little clip right there. The brake shoes look fine. They still have about another, another millimeter 
more than a millimeter, like a millimeter and a half. So they're okay. They got several thousand more miles. So I'm gonna leave those alone. That's one thing you may want to check. Those brake brake shoes. Make sure they're a millimeter or, or bigger. Okay, so get a 12 millimeter and just uh, start taking it apart from the, the back. Take all the screws in the back, screws in the back. Okay, so once you have all the screws out, just remember this piece right here. And then just install a new one. Voila. Pull this up so it won't uh, it won't break the the brake line here. Make sure. You know, you don't leave this like that suspended for a long time. Okay, so I got the new hub in. Uh, it's very clean compared to the old hub. And uh, what am I call it? I have to now torque the the back screws um, back here. screw right there and the other four I have to screw them to uh, 46 pounds with a, uh, with a torque wrench so make sure you got a good torque wrench just torque them up to 46 pounds and you're done also uh, in the end you may want to use uh, some brake brake cleaner fluid to clean up the back brakes and that's it I want to tie them in sequence you know, crisscross. First tighten them up and then tighten them up really hard to the specified torque. There it goes. There it goes. And the last one, the top one. The easiest. I always leave the easiest for last. get some brake cleaner clean up the brake clean up all these parts Let's put the drone back on inspect it make sure everything's clean it's not scratched or anything and then put the wheel back on and then do the next wheel Ooh. helps to have an air an air compressor um, you can do things a lot easier you could just what I'm gonna do is uh, clean it up with the brake brake cleaning chemical, and then just uh, spray the air gun around it to dry it up. It makes life a lot simpler, a lot more simple. So just spray this baby around, all to clean up the brakes. Brake, it's called Bracklean. Bracklean. that much just a little bit just clean up the uh, brake dust clean up the uh the rotor here a little bit and just get a rag and clean it up or just like I said you just spray it out and it gets rid of dust If there's a lot of dust, make sure you wear a mask because this sometimes has uh, asbestos and stuff. This one didn't have that much. One thing I wanted to add is if uh, I put the uh, the drum back on just now. 
But if you're having a hard time taking it off, just hammer it a little bit with a uh, with a rubber mallet, and then you should be fine after that. It should come off. This one's not rusted or anything, so it looks clean. Make sure you don't forget the anti-lock, the ABS cable in the back. Back here. I almost forgot about that. Just click it right in, there it goes. Put the tire back on. That's it. Okay, put the brake back on. The emergency brake, turn it back on. Try to hand tighten these wheels as, uh, as hard as you can. Just with your hands. Just like that. While well, you still have the car elevated. And then after, what we're gonna, what we'll do is, uh, after we lower the car, We'll try to tighten it with the weight of my body. I'm 160, so it should be pretty good. Remember, it took my whole the whole weight of my body to get them off. So as long as I uh, step on this on this wrench here, and I'm no longer able to, and it's no longer able to go down based on my weight, then that should be tight enough. Okay, let's lower the car. on the floor the next side and then tighten the tires at the end okay so now just take this wrench and tighten it as, as tight as you can with the weight of your body go go in zigzag motion That's how I know it's tight, see? 